Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Luis Arias. He leads the team and wins above replacement, so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here. Here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr., and a pitch in the air right center this is mashed way back and gone a gigantic blast it's one nothing eight straight games with a home run they'll tie in some great hitters at the plate Griffey they lead Dale Long this is just impressive Oh, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. No question about this one. It's out of here. An absolute smash to left. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Luis Arise stands in. Rips that one to right. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one away. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Jake Berger. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. Their third home run of the inning. And they add a run. It's 3-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle. So when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. One down. And yeah, the batter now, Andrew Vaughn. They had a foul ball. Michaelis, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. Here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! That was blasted to the moon. Make that four homers in the inning. It's five zip. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. I'm excited to see that one again, but with the stack cast data, because that was a bomb. Oh, says he drove it out of here at 115 miles an hour. I think I heard the ball screaming on its way out. And had some serious exit velo, pretty elite, and he caught it just right to get it up in the air as well. And it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. 
Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Matthew Lee Retour gets the call from the pen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the... That one ripped. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in from second. It's six nothing. And he's got a double. Waste no time there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that. You're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And man, he wasn't fooled at all. One out, runner at second. And now for the Marlins, Nick Fortes. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that ball is out of here. They are unloading here their fifth homer of the inning. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. He's already homered in this game. That one is absolutely belted. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. They go back to back. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 9 0. He hit that into the wind, and it still had enough to leave the ballpark. He really connected on that pitch. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Line drive to short and caught. Right at that is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. That one ripped right center field. Hits the fence. Around first, heading for two. Oh, he throws it away. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And now here is Jake Berger. That's a hit. Carlson with a quick throw back in. And that's good enough to hold the lead runner at third. Runners now at the corners. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. One for one with a double and a run score. Liner, base hit. One run is in. Around third. He'll score as well, and the lead continues to grow. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. As a hitter, there's a On the mound now, John King. This is his third time out this year. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. He's already homer here in this one. Sneaks through, base hit. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. That's a base hit as a run scores. Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. Carlson sizes this one up, brings it in for the third out. But they score 12 times with an offensive onslaught. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Marlins 12 and the Cardinals nothing.